Hi guys, uh, KP this side from uh, Team InvestorWise. Hope all of you are doing good and staying safe in this lockdown. So uh, we have done four uh, different stock analysis uh, so far uh, in this uh, recent one month. I have done four different stock analysis, and by God's grace, we had a superb uh, upside in all four stocks. Uh, Bajaj Finance uh, we was the first stock uh, that we recommended. Uh, we still recommend it strongly. Um, we gave a buy recommendation after that stock sh has shown an upside of 150 odd bucks. Yes, after that it did come back, come down because of the uh, uh, three months uh, extension in the moratorium period being given by the uh, government. Uh, after that, we gave a buy recommendation on United Spirits and uh, United Breweries. Both we have given. Both the stocks have shown a huge upside. In fact, if you remember, I told you that Radico Khatan is also a good buy and that stock has also surpassed 330 levels in uh, the uh, Friday closing. Uh, then we have given a buy recommendation on uh, LNT Tech uh, for 1175, which was done and it was done again on this Friday. And then we gave a buy recommendation on Siemens, where my first target was 1080. This was also done, I think, on Thursday and yesterday, uh, that is on Friday, sorry. It did uh, go very close to 1100. Remember, my second target for Siemens is close to 1135. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, today, guys, I have taken another stock for the analysis, and this is uh, Polycab. Uh, this stock uh, is uh, a little less known stock in the industry, and uh, I find great potential in this stock, uh, and that is why I thought, uh, Chalo. Aaj Polycab uh, ko hi recommend kiya jai because the fundamentals for this particular stock are stupendous and uh, let us try and understand the business model and then we will do the uh, stock uh, fundamental and relative analysis as well. So if you uh, look at the background about this company and the product line, the company was founded in 1996 as a private limited company in Mumbai and uh, it got its IPO uh, back in 2019 in the month of April. The price range for the IPO was in between 533 to 538. Uh, so it's like almost uh, one and a half years back that the IPO has come or you can say one year, uh, three months or so like that. Uh, the company is uh, involved in the business of manufacturing and selling wires and cables. So uh, apart from that, they also uh, are involved in FMEG, uh, that is fast moving electrical goods and they do deal in uh, fans, uh, LED lights or switches. Okay, so this is the kind of business model company has. So somewhere it is competing with companies like uh, Phenolex Cables and at the same time it is also competing with companies like Havels uh, or Vguard, these kind of companies. Okay. So if we look at the price range for the stock looks very interesting. The low price that the stock has done is 525 and it has done a high of 1182. Okay. And right now the stock is trading at 679 with a discount of close to 42.5% from its 52 week high. Today the stock is trading almost 42.5% at a cheaper price. Uh, if you notice something, 1182 was done very uh, recently, just before the pandemic coronavirus uh, has uh, taken over uh, the economy. Just before that, the stock has hit 1182, which means on 24th of February, something would have happened that the stock has done its 52 week high. When I started digging into the information, I found out that for December 2019, the results got published somewhere in the month of February. And year on year basis, the stock has done stupendous, stupendous they have done compared to December 18 for December 19, the revenue has jumped by 25% and the net profit has jumped uh, uh, by 14.4%. That's a very uh, healthy uh, growth if you compare year on year basis. Uh, apart from that, uh, this is the time when the stock has done a high of 1182 and at that point of time, uh, the companies, the brokerage houses like Citibank and Anand Rati, they have given uh, a target of 1200 plus. If you see, Citibank has given a target of 1246 and Anand Rati has given a target of 1201 for obvious reasons because company has posted back to back very healthy numbers. But as I told you, we don't just uh, buy a stock because any brokerage house XYZ is giving a buy recommendation on it. We should have solid reasons for buying a stock and that's where we introduce the fundamental analysis of this stock. 
the first thing which uh, caught hold of my attention was the eps eps as i've told you guys many a times eps is the first thing a shareholder ke liye jo sabse zyada matter karta hai that is eps because at the end of the day eps is the money which belongs to the equity shareholders equity shareholders being the owners of the company all that they're looking at is the earnings per share this earnings whether paid out as dividends or reinvested in profitable projects does not matter but overall eps if is healthy is a great sign so eps looks very healthy with uh, a value greater than 50 and uh, if i also look at the price to earning ratio uh, industry pe ratio is close to 15.24 and company's uh, pe ratio is like 14.83 times which uh, makes us uh, understand that uh, the stock is reasonably priced okay if i look at its price to book value ratio then uh, the uh, the uh, stock is having a price to book value ratio less than 4 times i have always maintained this in my videos for me any stock which has a price to book value of less than 4 4 and a half is well priced it is decently priced we can't call such stocks overly priced we can't even call them underpriced but they are decently priced if i look at its beta value guys the beta is close to one time and i have spoken this multiple times a beta close to one makes us understand stock is overall defensive it's not a very volatile counter and that is what we want in a market scenario like this where already market volatility is very high we don't want to put money in a volatile stock if we do that we are exposing ourselves to either very high profits or very high losses we don't want to do that right now if i so for me the stock is not a very volatile stock i would like to rate it as a defensive stock if you look at its reserves and surplus it has a reserve healthy reserves of 2700 crores if i do a reserves to share capital ratio i find it close to 1 because their share capital also is close to 2700 2800 crores and that makes their reserves uh, look very strong their balance sheet looks very healthy at the given reserves another plus point is if i look at their long term borrowings till march 18 they had a total debt of 160 crores 160 crores with a with a equity share capital base of 9800 crores 160 crores of debt is a very minimal amount of debt the company has and when i compare it with march 19 another positive signal which i see over there is that company has paid off their debt probably the money which they got in the ipo that is the money they have utilized to pay off their debt that's what we understand the april their ipo has come and during the same period their debt has drastically gone down by 70 crores so guys even 160 crores of debt is not bad if you see but when you look at these two numbers you clearly understand that the intent of the company is to not keep too much of debt in its book because i told you debt is always a pain for the shareholders more debt means more interest obligations more interest obligations means lower eps for shareholders nobody wants that so this gives a very positive signal about the promoters and the management that they don't want unnecessary debt in their books if they have reserves they want to do business with those reserves rather than depending on external funding which is a very healthy sign next if i look at the promoter holding guys one good thing is uh their the promoters holding has been constantly uh, maintained at a range of 68.6% told you many times promoter holding maximum as per sebi guidelines is 75% here they have a promoter holding of 68.6% but they maintained it and nothing has been pledged obviously because their debt is very small so they they haven't pledged their shares and during this while in last 9 months to 10 months we have seen that fii have increased their stake from 3.33 to 4.89% which means slowly fii has been increasing their stake in this company for obvious reasons as i told you the company has shown strong growth both in their revenue and in their profits net profits if you look at point number g guys this is a very very interesting figure which i have got revenue from 16 end to 20th end end means financial year end i am talking about revenue has grown from 5 to 02 crores to 88 30 crores showing a total growth of 70% which is in itself very very healthy but if i look at the net profit figures there is an astounding growth of 310% in their net profit if you see proportionately the revenues have not grown so much as much as have the net profit jump now we need to understand the reason for that and this is the reason guys this is the reason i have written that this in a different ink what they have done is 
their net profit margin has gone down so they have cut down on their operational cost and they have tried focusing on enhancing their net profit margins which is again a very very healthy sign for the company the net profit margins have gone almost up by double the range from 3.55 percent it has gone up to 8.6 percent which is indeed very strong growth in their net profit margins i'm not talking about net profit net profit obviously is very high but what is the reason when revenue is not growing so much but proportionately the net profit has shown a drastic jump there has to be some reason for that company has cut down on its operational cost obviously interest obligation has also gone down which will also reduce their overall cost and because of that the net profit margin has gone up till now whatever i considered makes this stock look uh, looks beautiful whether 42.5 percent of discount posting healthy numbers in all the quarters the company seems to be well priced at at, the, at this given point of time but if we do some relative analysis for the stock then i have taken up uh, one sterlite tech and one i have taken up phenolex cables phenolex cables okay a disclaimer guys polycab we have recommended to large number of uh, clients of ours at the range of 650 odd bucks uh, last week itself uh, phenolex cables also we have recommended to many of our clients and uh, 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 so keeping that in mind now we still see a lot of upside i'll give you my reason why i see that upside apart from whatever i've discussed at the end i'll tell you one more strong reason why i'm giving it as a general advisory okay so if i look at the discount to 52 week high all three stocks have shown great um, uh, uh, corrections like for polycab it is 42.55 percent sterlite tech is almost trading at 50 percent of its value and phenolex cable has come down by 56 percent almost if i look at eps numbers surely as i told you polycab stands tall and it wins the bet because anything in that range eps in that range is very strong so eps for polycab is very high p ratio if you see p ratio for polycab is uh, well, uh, decently placed with uh, very close to the industry average yes for sterlite and phenolex the p e ratios are even lower but i have told multiple times and i repeat myself you just don't pick up stocks which are cheap you pick up stocks which are cheap yet they are fundamentally very strong that is the idea right if you look at book value again uh, 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 the polycab seems to be the best among the three stocks sterling tech has a very low book value which means their reserves are not very strong because book value is nothing but net worth of the company divided by number of shares so the reserves don't seem to be very strong again if i look at price to book value right now the most premium seems to be on polycab but then i told you people are willing to pay a premium price only when they see great